Well, I've only been a little bit lax in doing some of these uh, thrift store finds videos the past couple of weeks, but today was a better than average morning by far, so I thought I should come up here and show you what I found this morning. Lots of great stuff. First up on the video game front, uh, a copy of Devil May Cry, my favorite in the series still, the original one, really, really liked it. And it's just exciting to find a video game around here that's not a sports game, it's so uh, very rare. And also in one of the bargain bins, went to two places today, I found a Wii U. Just the console unit itself, it didn't have the pad, obviously, and uh, you don't see it here, it didn't have any of the cords or anything, so just the unit. Uh, it does power on, use my you know cords for my Wii U, and it seems to be okay. It's going to obviously have to be for parts or whatever, but I paid $4 for it, and I should get like $50, $60 uh, just as you know an additional unit like that. So that was a really exciting find. And on the music side of things, we have a few of these Peter Pan Vintage 45s, Tina the Ballerina, and the Unicorn. A very, very sad looking unicorn, I guess he was left off. Noah's Ark, I guess that's what that is uh, depicting, but those two, and the soundtrack to Flash Gordon, the great 80s movie, a lot of music by Queen, so that was pretty cool to find, and then a ton of DVDs and some Blu-rays, a lot of sealed stuff, which is really good, some VHS and books. Uh, one last music find, a sealed soundtrack to Dracula, the Bela Lugosi classic. It's an interesting find, and on DVD, The Warriors, and this is a more sought-after version because this is the one, it's not the director's cut, this widescreen collection, you know, Paramount released this earlier one is before the director's cut with all those uh, little, like, animated scene transitions and, like, inserts, so this is a little more sought-after, and it's for, like, maybe 20 cents that was worth grabbing, The Story of Ruth. Another Warner Archive, an open one here, Spencer Tracy in The People Against O'Hara. This is a cool double feature. We have Portrait in Black and Madam X with Lana Turner. And then a nice little stack of sealed DVDs, one Blu-ray, uh, Pressure Point. The picture of Dorian Gray with uh, Angela Lansbury. This is a really cool Tyrone Powell. This I've never seen it. This with the uh, the outer like slip cover, like a really nice slip cover. But we have Prince of Foxes, Fox release, Platinum Blonde, Gene Harlow. That's a good movie. I like that one. Joan Crawford in the say Our Blushing Brides, which is a Warner Archive collection. I've seen this one before. When did I last see this one? I, I remember liking it. I can't remember the last time. I know I've seen that one before, but off the top of my head, can't really remember. Uh, we have from the uh, Kino International Deluxe Edition, starring Ava Gardner and James Mason. Uh, so we have Pandora and the Flying Dutchman. Looks like a good quality release. I'll have to look that one up, but some sealed stuff there. And then from the Turner Classic Movies collections. I like these collections. I have some Cary Grant and uh, Lucille Ball and a couple other ones on my, of my own. This is a sealed copy of Eliz the Elizabeth Taylor release. That was really cool for just like a few cents. Father of the Bride, Sandpiper, Butterfield 8, and Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. That was a really cool find. And on VHS, one random thing, and then a uh, trilogy that I hope is all in really good condition. I checked them out. So we have The Simpsons Political Party. This is a collection of Simpsons episodes on VHS. And uh, this is cool. That'll be a good little lot of those are all in really good condition. And then this just on a whim, because I don't know what the heck this is, but it has a cool lenticular cover. Kick some alien butt with Star Kid. Never heard of that before. See the lenticular thing will show up on the, the camera. Really weird. Never, never heard of this before. It looks bizarre, but yeah, worth at least grabbing. Check it out. If it's, you know, funny, funny thing. All right, cool. Had a good two hours of my time, whatever, and sell it on. So uh, worth picking up. And then some books we have from the Lloyd Alexander. We have books one, three, and five. These were fantastic fantasy books I remember reading as a kid. I've always really liked the art on these particular editions. I always thought this was a really good series. Found a few of those. Uh, Better Than Life, this is a uh, book based on Red Dwarf, the BBC comedic sci-fi series, Birdsong, this 
older edition of George Sands' Valentine, a couple different versions that have been released. Say an African Millionaire by Grant Allen, some Stephen King, a mix of some newer, and what do I have here? The Stand. This is uh, the original, you know, this cover is from the original miniseries that was released on things like Laserdisc and VHS before this newer one. We have The Black March. Uh, my Teacher, Fried My Brains, Bruce, Bruce Coville. Some more Stephen King. So, a good variety of paperback books, some more Bruce Coville at the bargain bins this morning. And one hardcover, we have a Bean you know, fantasy novel. Uh, Stephen King that I have actually never seen or heard of before, and has a cool cover, uh, but The Eyes of the Dragon. And the, the I don't know if you can see it here, see the scales? You kind of even feel it, there's good texture to it. It's really it's kind of a cool release, never heard of that one before. And one more Dragon Find from Dragonlance, The Dragons of Kryn. I remember reading this back in the day in like elementary school, and that was a that was a good one. So that was my morning out and about, and definitely a better than average morning. So I thought I'd pop on here and uh, show you everything that I found. I'm really happy. I've been finding a lot of classic movies on DVD recently. A lot of them sealed, Warner archived. It's weird. I've sold a good chunk of that one day where I found like over 50 something of them. I've sold probably half of those already. And I find some more and some other cool classic movie collections. Really been lucky in that department for some reason recently. And you know that Wii U, even as just a extra kind of junk console type thing, it was only four bucks. So very occasionally when those finds happen, really really cool. And found some Stephen King I'd never heard of. It's kind of cool to explore. Lots of fun stuff. And uh, this will be my last time out until the book sale because that is next week. The three days of madness and spending hours each day uh, with that. It's going to take up my whole like you know first half of the week at least. So I'm going to go through and clean up, organize, and get all this stuff kind of out of the way to make room for the, the madness that will be next week.